hey guys today we will go through the installation process of data exploit hope this will help you so uh, for those who don't know what data exploit is this is a tool to perform various ocean activities and uh, as you can see i opened the I've searched the data split in Google in the first link you can see github.com slash upgoing star data set. This is our official link. <coughs> this is the GitHub page. This is open source project and it will be open source forever. Uh, this is how this basically looks like. And uh, there are many different things required for uh, setting it up and the major things are mentioned here like you need python 2.7.x whatever 2.03 uh, you need mongodb django celery and rabbitmq uh, the total documentation is there uh, in this link we will be checking that before that uh, what this tool can be used for uh, there are the description overview of the tool which is present here so uh, let's go to the tool documentation uh, this is a project uh, mainly contributed by upwing star that is Subham Mittal uh, Sudhangshu Chauhan Kunal and Minutan. As you can see here, uh, data exploit documentation, wide or data exploit tool, background setup, and roadmap, and etc. So today we will be focusing on the main part that is setup. Uh, setup is not that that much difficult as you can see from here you have to download this or git clone then you have to run uh, some simple commands and it will start so what we will do we will follow these steps which is mentioned here and do the same so let's do git clone so if you are having a mac machine git will be by default installed or uh, if you have a linux machine then you need to install git client separately that's quite easy you can simple command Git cloning the desktop uh, and data exploit project to my desktop. It will take a while. Done. Then second thing is you have to go inside the master folder and then do a pip install requirements dot txt. Let's check what all are there. First, you need to cd to data exploit ls. The requirement.txt file is there, so it's not going inside the master file, it's going inside the data exploit project main project file and run the command. Okay. So we can run the command again.
now as you can see this is completed <coughs> without any warnings or errors so if you are set these things up and everything is fine we are good to go and we will discuss the second phase how to create different apis and put it in the file so if you have any queries errors you can tweet us at the red data exploit or you can raise the issue in the github page thank you for watching thank you